Now, the United Kingdom is all set to deport migrants to Rwanda. And while Rwanda is on board to take in more asylum seekers, many African countries have rejected the UK's controversial request. One among them is Botswana. The country's foreign minister revealed that it has dismissed a proposal by Britain because Gaborone could not commit hosting people without knowing what their fate will be. Our next report offers more detail. UK's Prime Minister Rishi Sunak has found a controversial solution to his country's migration crisis. Fly the asylum seekers some 7,000 kilometers away and deport them to Africa. In Rwanda, which Britain refers to as a safe country. But why Africa? Simply because no one else wants the job. With developed nations already facing migration pressures, there's not a lot Britain can choose from. However, not all African countries have been on board with Britain's plan. Among them is Botswana. Botswana says it has rejected UK's proposal to accept asylum seekers into the country. Lemahang Kwape, Botswana's Minister for Foreign Affairs, disclosed this during a media interview. He says authorities in Gabon were against, quote-unquote, hosting people not knowing what the end game would be. Kwape says that Botswana's decision was influenced by its own immigration challenges. Kwape did not specify when Britain approached the African nation. However, his comments came just hours after the UK Parliament passed the Rwanda Asylum Law. My Lords, Rwanda is a safe country that has proven time and again its ability to offer asylum seekers a safe haven and a chance to build a new life. Rwanda has a strong history of providing protection to those that need it and currently hosts over 135,000 refugees and asylum seekers who have found safety and sanctuary there. Britain's plan to deport asylum seekers was first floated in 2022. Since then, it has been marred by court battles and legislative delays. In the past two months alone, parliamentary deadlock stalled the passing of the bill several times. But on April 23rd, the bill was finally sent through. This was after Rishi Sunak insisted on forcing the parliament to sit as long as necessary to get the job done. And now the British Prime Minister expects to start sending asylum seekers to Rwanda by mid-July. The first flight will leave in 10 to 12 weeks. Now, of course, that is later than we wanted, but we have always been clear that processing will take time. Sunak says that the government has booked commercial charter flights to fly the migrants away. But the UK is eyeing more than just Rwanda. After Sunak became Prime Minister in 2022, he instigated the search for additional countries to replicate the Rwanda deportation scheme. According to reports, the UK had approached countries including the Ivory Coast and Costa Rica. It had also considered deals with nations like Senegal, Tanzania, Angola and Sierra Leone. Meanwhile, countries like Morocco, Tunisia, Namibia and the Gambia have explicitly declined to enter technical discussions with the UK. And now, with several rejections hanging on its head, will Rwanda be the UK's only true partner in crime? From impeachments to inaugurations, if it's a political story, we are on the scene. The race for the White House is heating up. We're beating Biden. How dare he say that? If it's breaking news, we're live with the latest coverage. From the White House, the State Department, and Capitol Hill, we know the issues, but above all, we know the players to bring you the latest in-depth analysis on all the key stories that we're covering. I'm Eric Ham. Join me from Washington here on First Post America.